set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. John is going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that, but he did. Crosby's favorite move is switching to the backhand and burying it. His beauty backhand zone ability is surprisingly accurate. Panarin's the full package when it comes to skating and shooting at the same time. His make it snappy zone ability makes his shots so hard to catch up to. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. And it's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Back at the point, they set it up. Takes a shot. Oh, big time save by Shesterkin. We see goaltenders in this butterfly practicing it every day. Positioning, keeping their arms tight, making sure that they stay in the center of the puck. Just rocked on the play. And you hear the old term bone jarring? That one had to hurt. The boards are still moving from that collision. Scores! And look who's right on the doorstep, and he didn't miss that one. The Penguins take the early 1-0 lead here with lots of time to go here in this opening frame. Yeah, but you get to play from in front, James, a place any team wants to be. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Slittering feed! Oh, and he keeps it here. Quick feed to Raquel. And he takes the dish. And he takes the pass. And he stopped that one. Looks to set up at the point now. Denies him in front. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Quick shot. Oh, no. Post it in for the goal. Perfect shot. The goaltender's in position. Can't catch up to the puck. It's off the pipe and in, but it doesn't get any better than that. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. That's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Pittsburgh's got him along the wall. Can't make it work. Take it along the wall by Keckle. Slides the puck to Trocek. Poked away at center by Super. Pittsburgh's grabbed a hold of the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone by Lindgren. Fires it on net, and he makes the save. Jari's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Past the midway mark of the frame, it's all tied up. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Ruda. New York's gained possession along the boards. Through center. And that's broken up. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Pinned up along the boards. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. Moves it to Ruda. Pass broken up. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Jari's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Receives the pass. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Moves it up. Break away. Oh, what a stop on the poke check. That is a total sellout. You either get it or you don't. He did, and it turns out to be a good save. What a play. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Quick pass to McGinn. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to 
to start to change the momentum of this tight game. New York's got a one goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Pittsburgh's in decent shape here, James. I mean, I know they trail by one, but they played a really good first period. They'll want to continue that and try and get this game evened up here in the second period. Inside the offensive end now, down the left. The Rangers have it now. Moves it to the middle. They score! Counter punch pays off. They've even things up here in the second. They've had really good legs since the start of this period, and it seemed like a matter of time before they punched through. Moves it to Raquel. Chase in front, and that's stopped. Miller's got it in the defensive end. Sends a pass over. Taken by Panarin. Puck scooped up by Kreider. Grabbed along the boards by Panarin. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. The Rangers have it now. And that's just out of reach. From off the wall and onto a stick. The Penguins take possession in the neutral zone. New York's got a hold of the puck. There's the whistle as the play was offside. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Puck grab by Petrie. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Super. He was totally locked in on that play. Sliding across in the butterfly covers most of the bottom of the net. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Shot. Misses the net. Not by a lot. I guess it doesn't matter, though. It's not even a shot on board. And that's turned aside. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We got a tie game. New York's got it in the offensive zone. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And that's blocked from someone in front. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Centering feed. Takes the blast. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Takes it to the net. Here comes the call. I think you just get all consumed with the play here. You're hunting the puck down, and you don't even realize you're taking a slashing penalty. power play unit out for the first time tonight. I love playing on the power play. I like the extra time. I like the fact that you're supposed to score. If you can't handle the pressure, they're going to replace you. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Denies him in close. Obviously not a more dangerous place on the ice to shoot the puck from dead center. Shooter tries to go up the board, and the goalie is better with the glove. Some finish ads ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. New York's got it, and they're on the attack. Scores! And there's the go-ahead goal as they capitalize on the power play. Tie game, you want your special team to maybe get an opportunity, and then they got to take advantage. This game's untied because that power play was ready to go to work. So finish adds one possession. Truba's moving the puck through his own zone. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. 
the puck over to Panarin. New York's looking to break out. Across the line from center. Centering feed. Moves it again. From one point man to another. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Hooked away by Crosby. Slides the puck down low. Here's a short pass to Sabinashad. Takes the shot. Puck picked up by Gensel. Gain momentum up along the side. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Denies him with the pad. Shesterkin's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. Heinen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes it to the front. Back to the blue line. to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action. Ready to go. Final frame is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who was at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Pittsburgh's domination of the puck possession battle over the first two periods would make you think they're in a different spot. Yet they trail by one. They can get back into this game if they can play the way they played in those first two periods. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. The Penguins take it along the wall. Fails to find the open man. Feeds the puck to Fox. Looks to make a play over to Kreider. Quick feed to Miller. Moves the puck down low. Sends the pass over. And it's a quick pass to Kreider. Can't make the connection on the pass. Nice zone entry on the left side. Loose puck battle along the boards. The Rangers will play it from the defensive zone. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. And now it's grabbed by Truba. And he regains control of the puck. Great pass from the left wing. Stretch pass. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Tries to get it over to Carter. And now he passes up to Raquel. Lindgren stick handling in his own zone. Puck picked up in the open ice. And now he tries to get it across to Kako. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's in on the offensive attack now. Here's a shot. Scores! And some friendly geometry goes their way to help. Well, it's not like you're trying to get it that close, but if you can get the bounce, you take it. That's kind of nice, isn't it? The Penguins have evened things up in the late goings of this third period. Buckle up here, people. A lot of work to get back to square. Now they've got a chance late to pull this out. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Takes it from the right side. Now a quick pass to Kravstov. And that's broken up. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hedl. Taken by Bluger. Dishes it to Zucker. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Zucker's got lots of tricks up his sleeve, but he tries there to get around the defender. Just can't quite complete the move. Puts that into the back of the net for the goal! And breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. Got the one goal lead here in this third period. It's starting to look like the goals were going to be really difficult to come by, but they've got another one. Now you want to pressure the team, try and make them make another mistake. Into the offensive zone. 
Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Carter's got it in the offensive zone. And he comes up with it. Well, the best defense is to play some offense as well. This is a smart play. With the lead, he dumps it into the corner. Now he can forecheck a little bit, try to kill some clock. The Rangers gain control of the puck against the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. The Rangers play it along the boards. Inside of the last minute here in this third. Turned aside with a glove by Jari. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Foskey's been a standout in this one, guys. He's been working hard and even got rewarded with the offense. Back to you guys. Malkin's loving the puck. Crosby's gaining momentum. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. The Penguins really need a goal here. They pull the goalie and the extra attackers out. Sends it over to Malkin. Quick pass to Gensel. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Nice zone entry from the middle. Too much congestion in front. Slides it to Malkin. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Sends it in front. Off a stick and they can't complete the play. Moves it quickly over to Joseph. Poked away at center by Trocek. And that pass doesn't go. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Ray is the proverbial draw the first blood as they take the one nothing series lead. A well-played game for them. Now they've got a leg up. You try to, game by game, chip away at your opponent's confidence. And the Blue Shirts confirmed at center for a simple and effective thing. I'm not really sure where all this started, but now the fans kind of like it. They like to be acknowledged by the players, and I think it's become a really cool deal. Great playoff action tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll talk to you next time where the fun will continue.